Hey crafty people! Welcome back to my channel and in case you're new here, I'm Sarah, also known as Craft Nerd because I'm a nerd who loves to craft. I do paper crafting, card making, junk journaling, and mixed media art. Let's get crafting! Welcome back! Uh, it's time for another Mass Make Monday and in case you're new to my channel, what I do is I set a timer for 45 minutes and I try to see how many of a particular item I can make in that time. And today I want to make some faux stamps because a couple weeks ago I did that video on the waffle flower collage, postage collage, dies and stamps and stencils, and then I made a few stamped faux stamps myself using my stash, and I really enjoyed it, and I want to have a play with them again. Um, so what I've got out is I did do a couple of die cuts of the postage collage dies, the slimline and the regular. They also come with a few separate individual dies, so I did a few of those. And I also bought this year during Stamp Timber from Simon Says Stamp, the Tim Holtz limited edition stamp set that also came with postage stamp dies. So if you don't have the Waffle Flower postage collage dies, if you've got a postage stamp die or dies, you can use those. Or you can just cut out a few from some paper using decorative edge scissors. So I, that's all I've got out right now on my desk. And let's start our timer. And we will get started. Um, and I've also got the stencils that go with the big postage collage in case I want to do any um, inking of the backgrounds. And I don't want to get ink everywhere. And my um, alt new sticky grid mat. Um, let's see, what do I want to start with? I actually think I want to start, and I am going to want to do a little inking, and I need to grab something else real quick for my stencils. Wait, is it in here? No, I don't think it's a small one. It's in my big... Sorry about that. Hold on one sec. Stencil for ground. Now I'm thinking, no, it is in that other container, the one that I want. So this is not going smoothly at all. Um, actually, you know what? I've got a waffle flower pine tree stencil, and it's got some ground. That'll work. because I've got this really old stamp set. It's a lovely little nativity scene set. Um, and it's by Stampendous and I've had it for an eon. But I'm thinking it would be cool to ink like night sky on our stamps. And, but I don't want to, you know, have blue ground. So let's, Go like so. Put our stencil in place. And we'll start with this guy and try and get our stencil placed correctly. All right, stick down. There we go. Stencil lined up, place it down. And actually, I don't even need, I just need that so that we can do a blue sky without having the ground be blue. And then we can just swap it and do kind of a sand color ground. If that makes any sense whatsoever. All right, let me get a little tape. I have a feeling that this is not going to be the best choice for a Mass Make Monday just because it's going to take a little while to do everything to these. I think the next set we do, we're going to just do some straight stamping. But, all right, I'm going to take some Distress Oxide in Uncharted Mariner. 
gonna grab a smaller brush and do a sky. So how's everybody doing? Um, let's see, I'm trying to think what's been going on. Oh, so last week my friend and I were supposed to go see Jinx Monsoon and Benda La Creme's holiday extravaganza show thing that they do every year. But unfortunately, so let me back up. So we go out to dinner first and we have a lovely dinner at a Turkish restaurant that is a favorite of mine. I am grabbing Villainous Potion because that helps get your night sky even darker. So we're gonna do a little Villainous Potion over top just to darken up the sky. See, ooh, isn't that pretty? Um, so yeah, we went to a local restaurant that is a favorite of mine. In fact, I probably mentioned it before because when my friend Melissa was down visiting, we went there for lunch, so I got to have Turkish food again so we went and did that and then we went and drove over to the show and as we I get there and I'm you know walking from the parking lot towards the uh, theater everybody's walking in the other direction and the show got canceled because one of the cast members had to be rushed to the hospital um, and it turned out it was one of our stars because I, you know, was checking to see information about what was going on. And Jinx posted to Instagram that, you know, she had to go to the hospital for treatment, but she was doing fine. Um, and that they're planning on rescheduling the show. But I was very bummed. I was very much looking forward to it. And I have no idea when they're going to reschedule it. Um, so waiting to get info on that. So that was a bit of a bummer. Did did have a lovely dinner and you know sat and hang out hung out and had a nice chat with my friend. So that was nice. Um, and you know she reminded me I hadn't set a date for my holiday party yet. So we picked a. <laughs> we looked at her calendar. I looked at my calendar. I sent we sent text messages to the um, other friends who come to the holiday party and did a hey. Here are our options, what day works. So, but I managed to get that scheduled on the calendar. All right, let's scoot over and do this guy. And I think I'm gonna just grab a scratch piece of paper to keep from inking the ones I've already inked. Let's do that. That. And get inking. Um, so I've got that scheduled. Um, I'm still waiting to hear from my cousin as to whether she's going to be coming down or not. But apparently the person who schedules PTO at her office was out this past week. So hopefully she'll find out this week so I can figure out what those plans are going to be. Um, and can you believe it's like mid-November already? Where did this year go? Um, I need to start, at least, at least with having my friend Melissa come stay, my house is um, cleaner than it normally would be at this point in time. So I'm not gonna have as much frantic Thanksgiving, pre-Thanksgiving day cleaning, but yeah, I gotta get my Thanksgiving cleaning done. Um, and I have to finish making Christmas presents. One one year, I will I will do them in advance so that it's not mid November and I'm freaking out having to make Christmas presents for my aunts because I haven't started them yet. Um, one day, definitely not this year. Uh, maybe next year. <laughs> Oop, let's not mix our colors. All right, so we got that and that, and we've got one last section to do, and we're gonna. Shift everything over. Okay. 
I feel like I may need to pause and check on a dog because I can't see where he is. Although that will hopefully in the beginning of the new year be um, somewhat rectified because um, this past week there were, you know, solicitors roaming the neighborhood um, for a company that does like remodeling type work and they do window installation and that's what they were going around the neighborhood about offering free estimates so I've known for a while that I need to replace my windows um, apparently the issue is is that the seal on the windows failed because they're double paned and so there's like crud between the panes of glass in my windows and it's been like that for oh a good I think pretty much since we bought the house just about um which was oh 17 years ago uh so it's been one of those projects that it's like, oh, it's going to be a pain in the neck and it's going to be a big project and oh, it's going to be expensive and just, you know, never got around to doing. But they came out and did estimates and wow, I was surprised at how expensive windows are. <laughs> Having never actually looked at pricing on them before and, you know, this company, of course, is not doing the low end windows, but in light of the fact that pretty sure that's what was installed last time and that the seals on all of the windows failed just about. Um, I wasn't inclined to go low end again this time. So I got the estimate and my goodness. So they come out and my appointment time is 530 and the guy was a little late, which wasn't too bad, except for the fact that he was he ended up being here for like four hours. He was here to like, like 9.30. It was insane. Oh, I can see Bart. Okay, we're good. All right, so now what I want to do is go back and add some ground. So we're going to just, I should have just left that like that and done this one first. That would make sense. All right, let's do that and try and get a move on so that we can actually get more than one set of stamps done and actually have it be a little bit mass makey as opposed to, I don't know, minimal makey. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna cover our sky up and I'm gonna grab, come on. I think I'm gonna start with some fossilized amber and then probably, you know, actually no, let's do brush corduroy. Brush corduroy is gonna work good, I think, for, my sandy ground. Fresh corduroy. Let's put that here just, just so I don't have to worry about whether or not I'm going to ink somewhere I shouldn't. not all right let's see I think let's see how this works if I don't mask the top I'm okay with that all right I think we're just gonna adjust this over line this up properly just gonna wing it on the ground and as I'm doing this I'm realizing one of them is one I want to just do angels on and so I don't necessarily need ground I think this one's gonna get an angel so we are gonna go back and add sky to that one and just have it be sky All right, we are almost done with the inking let's do 
like this so I can ink quickly and not worry about messing the other guys up. Um, so yeah, it was, it was insane. I was just like, dude, way too much sales pitch, um, and chatting and just like, I was like, are you going to ever leave my house? So, but I did, I signed up to get some of my windows done. I'm not doing all of them because it's just way too expensive and I just had to do, where did they go? Oh, um, install a new AC, but they were doing financing and so I signed up and I'm getting basically half done um, and I think pretty much I'll be able to pay off the half that I'm getting done within a year so then next year I will probably do the other half of the windows so I'm doing the windows in my TV room which all right I am going to do a couple things right now. First, I am going to cut these apart because I know this won't fit into my Misty as is. And I want to use my Misty because I want to stamp these guys in black. And I want to have them, you know, show up. So we're going to do half and half. Let me grab my Misty. I'm just going to set those brushes aside for now. And then I'm going to stick this down. Oh, goodness gracious. We've got 15 minutes has gone by already. All right. So I think I want it to do, well, I know I want to do that angel there. So let's go ahead and do the angel. And I'm gonna use my Versafine in Onyx Black because that is the best black for stamping crisply. Oh, I hear him moving. Oh, I see him moving. Um, but what, what prompted this whole discussion is since the windows, the seals have failed on all the windows, most of the windows in my TV room are kind of gunky between the panes, so you can't really see out the windows. Um, woo! I have no room on this table for crafting right now. Okay, like that. Let's spray this off. Oops. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the fact that I will hopefully once the new window, well, I better be able to once the new windows are installed, actually see out the windows to see what he's up to in the yard. And we'll have to, with less frequency, go outside to check and see what he's up to in the yard. All right, so we got the angel done. Um, let's, I'm trying to set, I think I wanna do the wise men on the camels, like so, and then do this little oasis -y bit there but I think I'm gonna stamp that separately so let's go ahead and do our wise guys in with the camel and do our black So yeah, it was a, it's been an eventful week. Um, I think just that first one needs a little more. It did not stand perfectly the next time. I don't know why. Um, well, yeah. So yeah, eventful and expensive. So I've got that scheduled and they, 
So they came out, did the free estimate, and then they do a pre-install inspection. Basically, they have somebody come out and double check all the measurements because they're custom sized windows. Um, so he came out on Friday, another appointment that took forever. These guys just are very slow moving. Um, although I think part of that was he was checking with the office because one of the rooms we're doing is my TV room, which was an addition on the house. And so he was just double checking to make sure the windows will actually fit into like that there was enough wood and space around each window in this room because this room has six windows in it um for the windows to actually fit like that the frames were that the space was deep enough and all that so I have a feeling he was on the phone for a while because he was out in his truck inputting the new measurements and then he came back in and we scheduled and the, they were all booked up for December which is fine because I don't know how I would put up my Christmas decorations if I was going to have to move everything around to clear space for them to install the new windows. Why are we not sticking? Stick. Stick. And I have a dog who desperately wants to go out. Okay, so there we go. There's our wise guys. Um, I'm going to take a pause for a sec because Powell wants out. Start our timer again. Beep. Try and get this to stay down. I think I just need to take the whole thing out and get it, give it a good cleaning. So I've pulled out the shepherd and a sheep. For this one. All right, now let's grab the other half and start figuring out what I was gonna do on this one too. And so we're gonna start up here with the wise men having arrived. Let's not leave those guys on. Well, that didn't work at all, did it? All right. I don't understand what the heck's going on with this. It helps if you point the water at the paper instead of at you or the... Okay. Nope, that's not the right one. That one's already stamped. Oh, goodness gracious. I have spent like 25 minutes just doing one. Yeah, I was a little worried that this was not going to be a very uh, fast mass make. Um, I probably didn't start with the best choice since this one was rather involved. But I was like going through my stamps trying to pick out stuff that would work for stamping without having to color them in. Like that's what I was looking for was stamps in my stash that wouldn't need coloring. And I came across this one and I haven't used this one in ages. Um, and I was like, this would be really cool. There's a crash, and then this one. Yes. Mary and Joseph. Get 
de Jesus. And I've got a star. Where's the star? Where's the star? Oh, there's the star. We got some farm animals that we can do over here. We've got a donkey and a goat, and I think I've got one more sheep. There we go. All right, so we got that set done. Yay! And I've got a mess of stamps over here to clean up. But that's all right. Let's move that out of the way. Let's bring over another set and do some more stamping. I'm gonna just set that in there. And I think let's do some did I pull out? Pulled out some snowmen, but I think I'm gonna want to ink for that. So let's let's pull out some ornaments and see what we can get done stamping ornaments. Oi, if I can get the stamp off of here. This is a Studio G stamp, I think. Let me check. I'll let you know in a sec. Yes. Which was like dollar stamps at Michael's for a while. Um, so we're gonna do that and let's grab some red. Where's my red? I had it out. Ah, it, nope, that's black. Here's the red. clean that and that so I don't have to worry about that. So we've got one red ornament. I'm going to clean it off real quick just because I have no more room for dirty stamps. Like I just don't have anywhere to put a dirty stamp at this point. All right, let's grab another one. Another Studio G. Put that there. I'm gonna do that in green. I just got ink all over the back of the Misty, so let's do that, and that, and stamp, and ooh. I think these stamps might be uh, nearing the end of their life, because, you know, they were dollar stamps, because they kind of like sunk in at the back end. Oh, goodness, that's a mess. Let's clean our finger off here. Oof. All right, we're gonna have to pause. I gotta bring the dogs in because they're barking at the neighbor dogs. So I'm gonna stop and go get some dogs. Okay, I'm back. Let's start our timer again. Oh, 
Let's see, can we get that to stamp any better? Nope, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Let's move that stamp out of the way. Let's use the last one from that set. That'll go there. Let's see what else we got. That one will fill up that space rather nicely. Let's see. Too big for there and a little too small for there. I'm trying to just get them all out this way we can just go ahead and stamp them. on there. Actually, maybe what we'll do is three. And then, whoops. And then one small one. Okay. Okay, so I've got all the stamps out, um, but they're not all the same size. So let's go ahead and do this one. Um, and I don't want to go quite that dark of a green. I'm trying to think what other green I might have Woo! that would stamp well and is not as dark. Let's try Rustic Wilderness. Alright, I think we're going to go that guy. Let's do that one in red. And these, the ones we're stamping now are, and for the rest of them, are going to be uh, set by Fiskar. And then I can just draw in strings later on. And I think we'll do the Rustic Wilderness for those guys. That one's gonna go there. Do that one and I think I'm gonna do the dark green for that one This guy down here in red. Yes. And I think I want to come in and stamp some of the like stampy things on these. Um, for example, I want to do forever down there. I 
and put a dollar amount. Here. Uh, 25 cents up there. And down there and that was really faint um, and twenty five cents oh yeah that did not stamp well at all and over here and then let's do Sons. Um, and then once I cut them apart, I'll probably do some cancellations, but I don't want the cancellations running between them kind of thing, since these are going to get cut apart and used individually, not as like a set. Um, so let's set those to the side and we might be able to get like one more set done. Actually, let's do some of the one-offs. Let's see what we've got that will work with some of these guys. Do I have something tall and skinny that can go there. Let's pull out one of the Tim Holtz ones. And this is a Tim Holtz one. And actually what I'm thinking is if I grab something that I don't seem to have right there. Uh, this is what I have to do. And what I meant to do was to uh, block off the edges on that so that I could ink it without losing the white edges and forgot to do that. All right, let's do that for this guy. Basically, I'm gonna just put a post-it note so that we keep the white edge. We'll post it notes. And we're just gonna ink quickly because I've got snow people and I figure they need a blue background. with a distress oxide and that's why it's kind of going a little gloopy I think. All right let's grab a little distress oxide in a blue maybe possibly if I can get to it. Yes. All right we're gonna grab some tumble glass distress oxide and go over top and try and smooth that out because yeah that's a bit of a mess. So there, that preserves the white edges, which is what I had meant to do for that guy. Ooh, except that shifted over. Eesh. That did not work out quite as planned. All right, this is what I get for rushing. <laughs> this is what I want to pull out, and it's uh, stamp another Stampenda set and another really old set. I want to do him and maybe 
him and the dog. No, nope, because they're not facing. So we're going to swap. We're going to stick you down there. You there. And the doggy over here. Ooh, they won't fit together. Let's see if he will fit with the dog. Well, you know what? Let's try stamping and then I can probably... I think I'm going to grab Where's the Clank Flare? Not Twilight. Where's Twilight? Can't seem to find Twilight. Here it is. Twilight. So that it's a navy blue instead of black. we can squeeze this guy which I think is a different set I th no it's a stampenda set but I don't think it's the same set I think it came from a different set honestly let's see if the other guy that matches better will fit We've got like three minutes left. So there we go. We got those done. Now this one, I'm trying to think. I don't know that I have anything skinny enough. Let's see what else I've got. Pulled out stamp wise. Hmm. All right, I think we're going to stick that back in and switch over and do some greenery without inking backgrounds. Use that, stamp that in green, and then I can go back with um, either a Posca red pen or liquid pearls and do the berries in red. And that definitely needs some additional stamping on it because it's looking a little plain. And I think I'm gonna stamp first class at the bottom. Don't let go of my finger. Oh, we'll go that way <laughs> since I stamped that completely upside down. Go me. Um, all right, and then I'll put let's put our dollar amount on and try and do a good job of stamping it. Ha 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 ha. Actually, that's too big. Let's do the 10 cents. There we go, set that one off to the side. Such a mess going on off to the side over here, just so you know. And let's see what other, let's grab you. And do I have another big one? I do, let's grab the big one and stamp something on you. That's Stampendous, yes. Let's stamp that in green. And then I've got berries I can stamp in red. Go with those leaves. I have got so much to clean up after this. We've got a branch of berries.
which are sticking to my finger. All right, let's get an eraser out. Oh, and we're about to go off. All right, I'm just gonna finish these two. And I'm gonna stamp them in red, and then what I'll do is I'll come back with, if I can figure out where I put the red ink. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Such a mess to clean up. Um with a pen and make the branch part of it not red because yeah that looks a little weird but I can come back in with a brown pen if I've got one I think I've got one um, pretty sure I've got a brown pen somewhere ah I do I have a brown felt tip so what we'll do is we'll just make the branch look more branchy. Do that and then just do one more so that that guy's done too. And what are we going to do? I'm going to grab those leaves, do them at an angle like that, and do those in Rustic Wilderness. I'm going to add forever on the bottom. There we go. That one's done. All right. I'm going to take a couple minutes to just clean up a little bit so that I stop getting ink everywhere. And then I'll come back and we'll see what we got done. Okay, so let's see what we got done today. So we got nativity, we got our ornaments, we've got our greenery ones, and our snowman, which I think I'm probably gonna go back on this one and ink blue since somehow the post-it shifted and I got blue on one side because that looks a little weird and I think I may add some snowflakes and stuff to these guys that's what we got done today um but that's that's all for today uh so if you enjoyed this video please do all the things that lets YouTube know you enjoyed the video like subscribe hit the notification bell leave me a comment down below thanks for joining me and happy crafting